Hey, hey! What's up, Gaming Unleashed? Welcome to the next episode of Need for Speed Underground 2. We are on the 26th of December, and this is my 26th episode. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. This 26th episode, the Boxing Day episode, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet. But uh, we'll try to get to that green racing, the sprint. Am I on the right track? No, I don't want to take those exact roads. We'll go through the that shortcut road and uh, try to get there. So yeah, my aim is to try and uh, finish these races so we can finish up the stage two and move on to the stage three. We don't have any opponents. I think after I've changed my engine, I don't see anybody to outrun. It's unfortunate, but I don't want to go back and change my engine now. All right, sprint it is. Let's go. Ah, a bunch of nice cars. Well, look at me showing off. Uh huh. It's all under my control. <laughs> Okay, looks like we've got a Mustang, if, that, if, if I'm right. Oh, there's no Mustang here, is it? I need to explore what those cars are. I think it's time to go to uh, inventory to explore some new options. Let me see, I'll finish stage two, which means I have I had two more. Oh, really on the Civic? That's the first. I've done it on my Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> but really on my uh, Civic is the first. So yeah, I was saying we've got three slots as, as far as I remember. And we've got the first car, which is the Civic. The second car is the Escalade. The third slot is unlocked because my second sponsor, the now sponsor, OZ, has to give me a car but I have to purchase it I'm still waiting for it I don't know what I don't need a car now but you know maybe we'll try to modify one of the cars we'll just have to explore what it's gonna be and um, when I sign the next sponsor when the stage 3 opens up that's the car coal harbor when the coal harbor opens up when I sign a new sponsor I'm gonna get another car so I'll have four slots but only two cars standing in the slot, which means I've got two more opportunities for free car. Alright, let's explore that later. Alright. How's my driving, guys? Let me know. Okay, we have completed the 78%. And hopefully it should be, I should be in the lead position as I am now, as long as, you know, I can make, keep missing the traffic, get some NOS and boost. Okay, we're close to winning. Look back. And there we are, winner. 200 points, that's enough. I keep talking about the reputation points because I, th I feel those are important. Okay, I don't see anything on my map. Oh, I see... Alright, I was seeing my map. You know guys, I think we should get to the top. Start to go to the Jackson Heights. Maybe we'll do the circuit now. Do the circuit. And then we'll go into Jackson Heights. And go on top of Jackson Heights to finish more races there. We are going to be capturing Jackson Heights. So when I say capturing, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. Awesome, looks like this is going to be a long circuit. Because obviously it's going to be in Jackson Heights and there is no shortcuts in Jackson Heights. Okay, that was unintentional, but this guy just, you know, <laughs> was right there. Alright, I'm kind of slipping. Is it because of the engine? Too much power, no control? 
like the Pirelli's add power with no control is like all the various references they make power without control is nothing yeah that's Pirelli so yes guys uh, today is the 26th after Christmas some people call it Boxing Day some people call it af after Christmas some people call the seasons the holiday seasons so I want to wish you guys compliments of this holiday season and that's a crash is a gift for me gift that that crash is a gift for me to you guys <laughs> as uh, the season holiday as uh, entertainment for the season holiday let me put it that way so let me know guys are you working this holiday season are you taking a break are you traveling not many people are traveling a lot of countries are still under lockdown uh oh In my last episode, I talked about uh, Need for Speed coming back to life. So, I don't know how much of it is true. I read in the news, I, read, I just read the headlines, but didn't go in detail to read about it. And then I was looking at uh, EA Games and what EA Games has been doing. And apparently, they're uh, working on a, on a deal with uh, one of the... Uh, well, let me pull up the headline. What I read was... EA takes over two. EA overtakes take two to acquire UK's code masters for wow, uh, that's a big number. Here's why it's good news for racing racing game fans. Well, if it's good news, I'm all in. And EA Games, I mean, they have done so much, man. I mean, EA Games, EA Sports, the FIFA. I know they have, they, have, they have some suits and you know they have not done stuff right but it, at least they have got us the entertainment isn't it I mean come on the, the amount of need for speed titles they have released the amount of need for need for sorry the amount of EA games and EA sports titles they have released have just kept us entertained for so long and I don't think EA games is going to go away I think we should look at what are the popular games uh, EA has ever released. I'm sure there will be a lot. Did you know guys that uh, EA Games has been releasing or is a company it has been doing its releases from 1983? Did you know that? I mean that's like a long time back isn't it? 1983, right? That's good stuff. EA Games challenge everything. I think they're right in saying that. They are challenging everything. And look at the the recent Need for Speed games. It's only an improvement. I know at some points they've set back, like you know when they came up with those not so popular games in the in the, in the timeline but you know otherwise it's all good isn't it look at the underground uh, fans the underground one and the underground two there are a lot of fans of this game and i think that's what really kicked the game a notch it kicked ea games need for speed you know up a notch and everybody started looking into you know there is these racing and all like i said even i got introduced to uh, these uh, I got introduced to PC gaming because of Need for Speed underground titles, honestly. So what I read here is it says uh, EA Games has reached an agreement with Board of Code Masters. So it looks like uh, that deal is going to be come to deal is going to be action very soon. That's nice. I'm excited. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to add better graphics and you know better gameplay. Look at that! Did I see a swimming pool there? 
Nice. Okay, downhill, the speed is too much, need to brake. All right. I'm wondering if, if this had to be in a, such a limit, you know, explore version. You know, you keep on the road, you don't go off road, and there's not too much animation happening. I wonder how the rock stars have developed this stuff. They probably had to do so much more coding, isn't it? I mean, the open world, you pick up, you drop stuff, walk around, kill people, take money, and all that. So, man, that would have needed so much more attention. I'm just wondering how was that even possible? I mean, think of the guy who visioned all this and, you know, went and proposed that plan, what that into reality, big deal. All right, look back and here we are. We are the winners. Nobody even close to us. Wow, that's a good lead. Only 100 reputation points. That's crazy. We should have got more, more than 100 reputation points. Well, that's sad, but that's part of life, isn't it? It's not always how we want it to be. So we've got roof scoops. Awesome. All right, let's look at the map. We've got the races in line, so I think it's just about driving. I don't need a GPS. So I have to drive to my right and uh, I'll keep getting those races. So we will complete the races on Jackson Heights first and then move on to the rest of the races. And, you know, I think I kind of saw one URL. So we'll do that URL and I think we should be finishing the stage too. I'm surprised we don't have any opponents. I wanted to do some outruns. But I guess that means now it's time to go finish the races and move on to the next stage. But does it also mean that you know I shouldn't have upgraded my engine so soon? Maybe I should have done it for the URL race. Ah, anyway, it's done now. So nothing much to do. Look at the beautiful view of the city on my left. There's a nice house on my right, Tony Stark's house on my right. All right, where's the race? There it is. Oh, it's in the villa. I guess this, this guy is sponsoring the race. That's a nice house. Not probably nice, but you know, it's nice enough. Nice, so we've got an Infinity, we've got a Nissan. Just checking my cameras. All right, this is a good view. Good shift, I can take good shift. I just can't take all rev and uh, short shift. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward. But I just realized I'm on Civic. I've got only five gears and my shift, <laughs> my gauge is almost to red. Uh, as I just won without blowing up my engine, which means it's time to get a new car. I will very soon. All right, hot force cover. That's nice. And we've got suspension. Awesome. Bring it home. Awesome. Okay. We'll do that star challenge when we, we are done with Jackson Hyde races. Alright guys, I think it's time to call it an episode. Uh, on the next episode, we'll try to finish more of uh, Jackson Hyde races. Until then, Cheers, take care, bye.